We're still on the waterfront in Marigo Bay for a chat with a man who has been in this area selling bird feeders for at least two decades. This is how he earns his living, we've been told. Let us hear from O'Neill Lubin and later we'll have that big reveal of the painting that was being done by Gilroy Hippolyte. But first, let us get to O'Neill Lubin. My name is O'Neill. O'Neill Lubin. Everybody call me Zed. This is my job for quite a time, like almost 30 something years now, about 30, 36, 37 years. From then I finished school, that's my stadium. I can those bird feeder, big vendors for a while. So Zed, what got you started on this? I started on that because um, I have an idea, an artist, I'm an artist, and when I checked myself, I said, okay, an artist have to be an artist. So I started with this. I'm not like professional like now, but when I started, it wasn't like what I'm doing now, but now, Everybody said, Zed, you are the best, you are the best. But I never call myself the best. <laughs> but you know, everybody said, yeah, that's what it is. All right. Now, is this something that you learned from somebody? Mm, I didn't learn that from nobody. I just, somebody come to me once and they asked me about a bird feeder. And I have an idea and I just make a bird feeder. Or and up to now, it's, it's a long time now, quite a time now. It's, as I tell you, coming up to 57 years, this is my job, my prominent job, I can say. That's what I did, my living, grow my kid, everything. That's quite, that's quite amazing. Now, um, so what, what locations were you using over those 30 years? Only that location. I didn't go by different beach, different, only Marigold. I hustled in from times I've started, that's where I am. And, and I, have, I didn't hustle nobody. I have my rag there, everything there. You come to my business, I come and talk to you, but you said call you and come and buy. I didn't do that. You came to my place, you look at something you want, I come and talk to you. I, you need some help, I can, but to call you on the street, come and have a look at me. I didn't do that to nobody. You should know what you want as a tourist. So you should know what you like. Like me and if you go to America, you know what you want to buy and then. So that's why I didn't call no tourists to come and buy. From me. Now tell us about the booth feeders. Are they difficult to do? Mm, it's a, if you are as artistic, you know artists, you carry your music. Because I don't really draw it. I just take the coconut and I carve in it. I don't hold it and try to do something. I just hold it and carve in it. I know what I have to do in my mind. I, that's program. <laughs> just get a coconut. From them I pick up a coconut, I know what to do with it. If it's a single for a double or a love bird, you know, I, I'm professional. So, so how are they going? They're going well. That's my life. It's going very good. Very good. Now I don't sell nothing they like. Twenty dollars US, ten dollars US. I I didn't have that price. And I see you have a variety because I see you, you have one of three, one of two, one of singles. The one of three I sell that for eighty-five US. That's two hundred and something. I see the love bird. It's one hundred and seventy. C seventy-five US, sixty-five US. You know, if we negotiate, I go fifty, sixty. You know, but to say. Ten dollars, five dollars. I have nothing there for five dollars and six dollars US. I'm not in that. Anyway, if you know, oh, I didn't have that money. Well, then you have a forty, you fifty. We're going on for business, but to say, I talk, take up five dollars, eight dollars. I'm not in that. Although a lot of people come and tell me, oh, I saw it up the road for five dollars, but this, <laughs> yeah, but this is not right. Yeah. Man. So you you have the bird feeders, but you also have other things. So you have hats and trinkets and so on. I had from trees, all different stuff, and but majority of my stuff I make my own stuff. That's why I don't sell nothing from foreign. I sell my own original. That's why I, my business I have a business inside there is Fed Set Lisi. That's the name of my place inside there. Fed Set Lisi. That's been made in Central Lusha. So I don't sell no foreign product. Everything from here. O'Neill Lubin is based near the Marigo Bay jetty. Now back to Gilroy Hippolyte of OTC and the big reveal. All right guys, just as I promised, this is the prize I was talking about. Another wonderful piece by Gilroy H. Coming from Nation of Kings, OTC on the corner. Let's call it the mystery of music. Let's call it the mystery of music. Well, with that, again, we are at the Jazz Festival, of course. Um, I was more or less allowing the environment, the music going on, to pick my colors and allow it to just flow, control the flow of the brush, and go crazy a bit, as you can see. Check me out on Facebook, 
um, look for Gilroy Hippolyte or Gilroy the Artist. I also have a page, Gilroy H. You could also check that out. And also through Nation of Kings, also has a Facebook page. You could go ahead and just give us a little look. There is a lot more where that came from, so look out for the Nation of Kings for quality arts and entertainment. You will be hearing a lot more from that entity in future programs here on Calabash TV. That is our program for today and this week. Lisa will be back next week. I am Buddha Tranis inviting you to join us again on Calabash Community.